I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we post writing tips, unboxings, book hauls, book reviews, and the occasional vlog. And today, I'm so excited for this one. I have a brand new unboxing for you, and it is a subscription box I've been wanting to do for a long time. And that is Boksu, which is a Japanese snack subscription box. It comes monthly, and this month's theme is Sakura, or Cherry Blossom, which I'm so excited about, because I absolutely adore the Sakura season, and I love all the flavors. It's something I super miss about living in Asia is that everything is driven by the turning of the seasons and every single season you get brand new flavors, generally about something natural that occurs at that time of year and I absolutely adore that and it's so beautiful to have festivals just to get you to walk outside and look at beautiful trees. Who doesn't want to do that? And I mean, look how beautiful this box is. It's so pink and lovely. It's got flowers all over it. I've been so excited for this box to the point where I told my friend about it and she's also ordered it because I just wouldn't shut up about it. Let's open it. Before we get into this unboxing, don't forget if you like what you see to subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to see this as I upload, click that little bell down below. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram or Tumblr. Your continuous support means a lot, so thank you guys so much. As always, I'm going to let you guys see this first, alright? So, you ready? I'm very ready. What's it like? Ooh. Oh my god, there's so many snacks in here. So first of all, you always get a booklet with all your snacks and in there it tells you all the different snacks that you get in that box. It also has a beautiful artwork, but inside it has a map of Japan and it shows you where every single snack that you've got in that box comes from, which is super sweet. It also has some kanji for you to learn, which is pretty damn awesome. So we've got Subome, which is flower bud, totally butchering this. Hanami, which is flower viewing. Ume, which is plum. And Sakura Zuke, Sakura Zuke, which is pickled cherry blossom. It also teaches you about the theme of the box. Let's go into that. So why is Sakura so important? I will butcher some of these words, I pre-apologize. In Japan, cherry blossoms not only symbolize clouds due to their blooming en masse, but are also a metaphor for the ephemeral nature of life. Sakura are heavily associated with mono no aware, literally the pathos of things, a term expressing the awareness of mujo, impermanence. Let's learn about the symbolic flower. It's so gorgeous. I so want a Sakura tree of my own. And then we have even more history on this page here. So it says the history of Hanami. Originally, Sakura were used to divine that year's harvest as well as announce the rice planting season. People believed gods existed inside sakura trees and would gather to make offerings. At these gatherings, poets would praise the flower's symbolic nature as worshippers consumed the food and sake offerings. Emperor Saga of the Heian period held parties underneath sakura branches in Kyoto and the tradition of Hanami was born. I adore Kyoto. If you ever go to Japan, I highly recommend Kyoto. Beautiful city. When the then have tasty Hanami treats, there are many wonderful Hanami foods like... <laughs> Like chirashizuchi, a rice dish topped with sashimi, vegetables, egg, and seasoned rice. There's also hanami dango, a type of mochi on a stick, sakura mochi, inaru sushi, and futamaki. We then have a hanami party. From the end of March to early May, sakura trees bloom all over Japan. There's even a sakura zensen forecast announced each year by the Japan Meteorological Agency. In modern day Japan, hanami consists of having an outdoor party beneath the sakura. Hanami parties held at night are called yukaz yozakura, night sakura. I want to go to all of these parties. Mommy, if you're watching this, I'm coming. And then on the back, it just says how, if there's any snacks that you particularly like from this box, you can go to their website and you can buy them individually and get them posted out to you. I'm gonna just go through this booklet in order and tell you guys, because I don't know. You also get in this box a overview of everything in it and a little thank you note from Boxu themselves. All right, so the first snack is this one here, which is the Beke Ha Tojigi Ume Zarame. Totally butchered that. Now this says it is by Maruhiko Seika. This rice cracker is flavored with ume, Japanese plum, well balanced by delicious soy sauce. It also has a layer of sugar for the perfect savory and sweet combo. It then also tells you that it's sweet and savory, it's vegetarian, common allergens, which is wheat and soy, and it also contains alcohol. Mmm, I am intrigued. What I also do like about this is, obviously it has the dates of these snacks, 
The dates are far shorter than here in England, which probably means there's less shit in this, which is great. So this is from here, so just above Tokyo. We then have something that looks absolutely gorgeous. It is the Kanagawa Sakura Jelly, and this is by Nature. Oh, it's so beautiful. It even has Sakura flowers inside of it. How gorgeous is that? So this one says, this bouncy jelly is flavored with fragrant Sakura blossoms. Maker Nature selects vibrant pink flowers Flowers and pickles them using umezu, ume plum vinegar from the Kanagawa Prefecture. We hope you admire the gorgeous packaging as you chew the jelly, and this is flavor sweet, it's vegetarian, no common allergens, and NA for contains. That is beautiful, guys. I can't wait to try it. Oh, I'm so excited for all these snacks, seriously. Looks like it's from Kanagawa, which is just down here below Tokyo. The next snack are these. These are, <laughs> are you ready for this? Fujisan Shichenhang. I butcher these words. Oh, it's from Saitama, which is up here. So again, just above Tokyo. Let's see what it says about these snacks. These guys are by Senbei Lab. And it says each of these Mount Fuji shaped rice crackers has an exciting flavor, like matcha, purple potato, and red pepper that illustrates the beautiful mountain as it appears throughout the year. Ooh. So these are sweet and savory. It contains milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. It says not vegetarian and it also contains alcohol. Now, sometimes for the vegetarian, a lot of, especially the savory foods, do use fish oil. So quite often, if you're a pescatarian, you can still eat them. So I just suggest going to their website and having a look at the full list of ingredients if you're ever concerned. All right, we then have, oh, strawberry milk marshmallows. Now, these guys are from Fukui. I'm butchering these names, guys. That's from here, so on, if Tokyo's here, it's just on the west coast. And these guys are by Yoko Chocolate. So it says, these squishy marshmallows are coated in white chocolate that's kneaded with freeze-dried Polish strawberries. A harmonious combination of fruit and chocolate. Flavor sweet, contains milk and soy, non-vegetarian, and NA for contains. They look gorgeous. Can I just say, one of the things I absolutely adore is just how much effort Japanese companies put into their packaging. It's just, everything is so gorgeous, guys. We have so many snacks, it's unreal. I'm in snack heaven. All right, we then have, oh, we then have a mochi. I adore mochi. We get two of these. Squish, squish. And these are Sakura mochi. Let's see where they are from. So the Sakura mochi are from Nagano, central Japan. The Sakura mochi is by Marusan Tamakia. Mochi is a traditional Japanese rice cake made by pounding steamed mochi gome, glutinous mochi rice, and rolled in rice flour. Sakura flavored mochi is a classic hanami, flour view and snack, and best paired with green tea. It's sweet, contains soy, it's vegetarian, and then NA for also contains. I absolutely adore mochi. My friend Winnie can vouch for this. We had a little mochi party. I adore it. It's so squishy. We then have, oh, these adorable little biscuits. So these are Marakoshi Cookie, a Sakura Horohoro. And they're from Akita, so Northern Japan. Let's hear about what they are like. These are by Murakoshi and Isamiya. Have you ever had a polverone? They're Spanish cookies made with roasted almond flour. This cookie is inspired by a polverone and uses roasted wheat and azuki bean flour with an added sakura scent. They are sweet, contain wheat, not vegetarian, and NA for anything else. They look absolutely adorable. Everything is so cute, guys. They're just, why is it so cute? All right, next. Oh, we have more mochi. These ones, they're even squishier than the last mochi, guys. So this is strawberry choco mochi. And these are from Ehime. Ehime, which is southern Japan on this island section down here. Let's read what this says. These are by Seki. This mochi is called defuku, or stuffed mochi. It's flavored with chocolate and amao strawberries. Amao are grown in Fukuoka and referred to as the king of strawberries for their delicious taste. These are sweet, contain milk and soy, or vegetarian and NA for the rest. Oh, I can feel the innards. Mmm. I'm gonna adore it. I wanna eat it all now. I I can't taste them all right now for you guys. I would become the size of a house. However, I have tried a few different things, which I will tell you when I get to some of those and let you know what I think. 
All right, we then have a more savory. What I do love about this box is it does mix sweet and savory a lot. So you get a lot of desserts, but you also get a lot of savory snacks. And this next one is a savory snack, and it is a Oranda Senbei Plum Kelp. And this is from, again, Northern Japan. It's up on this part here, and it's from Yamagata. Let's see what it says. So this is by Sakata Beka. If you've ever had an Umi Onigiri plum flavored rice bowl, you'll know that plum and seaweed are an incredible combo. This cracker was made in collaboration with Gyokurian, a decades old kelp tea maker. It is savory, contains milk, wheat, and soy. It's not vegetarian, and NA for also contains. Oh. Again, it just looks so cute. It feels like it's been crumbled, but that's absolutely fine by me. I don't mind a bit of crumble. All right, we then have a, another savory. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, we got gobo chips. So these are Umekara Spicy Mente Burdock Chips. And these are from Okayama, which is South Japan. And these are by Kamo. These shatteringly crisp chips are made from gobo or burdock root. They're fried and coated in spicy mente cod roy, flavoring for a light yet fiery treat. They are savory and spicy. Common allergies are milk, eggs, fish, crustaceans, shellfish, wheat and soy, not vegetarian and also contains alcohol. What's of these contain alcohol? So a lovely spicy savory snack. I do love my vegetable crisps here in the UK, so I'm pretty sure I love these and I do like spice. We then have ooh, another double snack. Got to love a double snack because if you like it, you get another one. And this is Sakura Chinsuko. So these are from Okinawa, which is a really small island. My friend actually used to live and work there for the American Navy. So I know it's like a tropical island of Japan. It sounds gorgeous and I really want to go. These are by Chinpindo, an adorable shortbread-like cookie. Chinsuko are frequently given an omiyage or souvenir gifts. This treat is shaped, flavored, and colored like a Japanese cherry blossom, and they are sweet, contain eggs and wheat, not vegetarian, and NA and also contains. They're so cute. They almost look like stars, but I guess that is kind of what cherry blossoms are shaped like. We still have so much in this box, guys. The snacks just keep on coming. I think we still have two pages worth of snacks. So that's six more snacks. I'm in snack heaven right now. All right, next one, we have another sweet treat. All right, so these are pure gummy white peach. So peach is another really common flavor in Japan to celebrate sakura season. And these guys are from Tokyo. So these are from Tokyo, from the city, and they are by Kanro. All right, so this premium gummy has a delicious jam center flavored with white peaches from Yamanashi, Japan's largest peach producer. The sweet and sour crystals on the outside add a burst of yumminess. They're sweet and sour, non-allergies, non-vegetarian, and NA on also contains. I'm excited. The next item, they've actually had to substitute. So we got a little note here, which says we've made an update to your box. So due to unforeseen production issues, they've had to select an alternative for us to try. Instead of getting the Tusuboyori Komochi Plum, which is a seaweed wrapped savory snack, we instead are getting Aji Karuta, these guys here. So these are flavored with honey plum and they are by Bonchi. And it says, this crispy rice cracker is flavored with high quality Kishu Nan Kobe Umiboshi pickled plums and mellow Akashi honey. Your tongue will light up with the Senbei's sweet, savory, and sour flavors. These are sweet and savory, wheat and soy for allergens and they're suitable for vegetarians. I have tried this. It is divine. I absolutely loved it. It's had a strange taste at first. And then as you get more, it's so Moorish, it's really hard to stop. They are absolutely delicious. And that is a swap out in this box. Next up, we have a Sakura sweet cookie and we get two of these. These are them here. So Sakura sweet cookies. They are from Shizuoka, which is also where another snack is from. So we've got a double county snack. And let's read about these ones. So Sakura Sweet Cookie by Ichi Fuji Seke. It's crispy biscuit, has a gorgeous Sakura flavor. Japanese cookies like these are mildly sweet, so they can pair perfectly with tea, like the Sencha were featured in this month's box. The flavor is sweet, common allergies is milk, eggs, tree nuts, wheat and soy. It's vegetarian friendly, beautiful. And it looks like the biscuit itself has a cute little Sakura flower on it. I can't wait. And it's supposed to pair it with the tea. So in every box you do get a tea as well as all these snacks. And they do try to pair that tea with the snack. So I'm excited for that. 
The next snack, these little ones right here, and these are Mario Cashew and Makara Komaru. And these are from Setama. So again, it's a double snack prefecture. I have also tried these ones and they are divine. They are by Sanchu Seka. These tiny treats are coated in soy sauce, sweetened with honey for the ultimate savory party in your mouth. The packaging has lines of the Manu Kashu, a series of classic Japanese poems. I want to read those. And these are savory. They contain fish, wheat and soy, non-vegetarian and contains alcohol. So again, as I said, I am actually pescatarian. So I have tried one of these. I enjoyed it. All right, we are on to the last snack and the tea now. Now I have tried both of these and I did have them together. Highly recommend having them together. So the snack, we have a Sakura Buchi and this is from Shizuoka, which is also where the Sakura cookie is from. Beautiful packaging again. So this is by Ichifuji Seke. A buche is a small pastry with a sweet filling. This cherry blossom pastry has a Sakura flower printed on the cakey buns. Inside is a sweet and soft cream infused with aromatic cherry juice. It is sweet, contains milk, eggs, wheat and soy. It's vegetarian friendly and NA to anything else. I must tell you, it is gorgeous and it's so sweet and fluffy and beautiful. And then the tea of this box is this one here and it's called Spring Gold Green Tea. Now this green tea is from Fukuoka, which is down here, so Southern Japan. And it says on here, so Spring Gold Green Tea by Hoshino Seichen. Celebrate spring with this beautiful tea package designed exclusively for boksu and enjoy sencha tea to warm you from the inside out. You'll love the caffeinated kick and comforting aroma of sencha. It also gives you brewing instructions for exactly how to do it. it has no allergens and it's suitable for vegetarians. Matcha-like, so it's quite bitter but it is divine and I'm pretty sure, so it comes in a bag, it's really high quality, and I'm definitely sure I can get at least three to four cups of tea out of this before it loses a flavor. Multiple cups, guys, you don't just have to use it for one. And that is this box empty, so I will repack the box and go through what we got again. So again, we get the spring gold green tea. We get the Sakura Buche, which is beautiful, divine, I love it. We got two Manukashu and Makaru Kumaru. We also get the Sakura Sweet Cookie. We got the replacement for the seaweed one, which is this one here, which was the Aji Karuta Honey Plum. I adored these, they were delicious. We have the Pure Gummy White Peach. We get the Sakura Chinsuko. We got the Big Savory. We got the Umakara Spicy Mente Burdock Chips. We got the Aranda Senbai Plum Kelp. We then got the Two Strawberry Mochi. We got the Super Cute Marakoshi Cookie Sakura Horahoro. And we got the Super Cute Sakura Mochi. The Fujisan Shichi Henje. We got the strawberry milk marshmallows. And finally, we got the Sakura Jelly, perhaps the most beautiful item in this box. And the Bakaha Tochigi Ume Zarame. So, and the two bits, so we got that, and we got the apology with the new one on there. Obviously, it doesn't have that on the map, so I can't really tell you where that snack was from. With the booklet, so yeah, that is the box. I mean, it is so full. You have to pack it in a certain way for that lot to fit. Look how much food is in there. And that is it for my first box suit unboxing. I have subscribed for a three month subscription with these guys. So I really look forward to the next one according to this booklet. So next month's theme is get out the candles and the decorations too. It's Box's birthday. So the next one is gonna be another special because it's Box's birthday box. I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat all these delicious snacks. And it's all just so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to see as soon as I upload, click that little bell down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Tumblr. I post on bookish pictures, as well as my writing tips and unboxings on there. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.